What up Fortnite fam? Update 16.40 has just released. So I'm back once again to give you all the rundown of everything that's changed in the game in under 5 minutes. First up, let's go through the patch notes that Epic tweeted last night. A new exotic has made its way to the island. We'll now be able to find the exotic marksman 6 shooter on the island. A brand new exotic that has the ability to deal extra critical damage. Unfortunately, this new addition will be replacing the exotic dub shotgun, so there's going to be no more flying around the map with the dub as of this season, as it has now gone back into the vault. There are some new summer themed additions in creative mode. For those of you that like to build your own creative maps, you'll now be able to use some brand new items that all seem to be focused around fishing and using surfboards. That's probably going to be pretty useful for the upcoming creative challenge that Epic Games has just released. Finally, Epic took some time to tease the next upcoming wild week with the phrase catch a win and the image of a fish. That probably means that the next wild week starting on Thursday will have something to do with fishing. Before we go into the leaks this patch, let's take a look at the map changes. Last patch, a strange new island got added to the Fortnite map just below Flush Factory. It was pretty bare bones at the time, but now it's evolved to feature a whole set of ruins. In this location, you will find the new Aurelia NPC as well as a golden mythic AR sitting on a pedestal in front of her. This AR actually belongs to Lara Croft, and if you pick it up, you'll get a golden Lara skin. Okay, moving on to the biggest leaks of the update. A new LTM has been added to the game called Daybreak, and it looks like this is going to be a pretty important one because it actually has its very own victory umbrella. In this LTM, you wake up alone and unarmed on the coast with no memory of how you arrived. You have to grab some ammo and weapons before night falls and creatures begin to roam their hillsides looking for something to eat. The aim of the game is to find helicopter parts to repair a downed chopper near the center of the island. If you get the correct parts and find enough fuel, you'll be able to take off. There's both a PvE and a PvP mode planned for this Daybreak LTM, so it should end up being pretty fun. A new mythic has been added to the game. Defeat the Spire Guardians to pick up their Primal Assault Rifle, an incredibly strong AR that does a pretty terrifying 38 damage per body shot to a player. There's also been a change to the spawn rates of Bunker Chests. Their spawn chances have now risen from 60% to 80%, so there's now a much bigger chance of coming across these powerful chests. A new NPC will soon be arriving with a brand new questline called Foreshadowing. Now, I wouldn't usually mention things like that in these videos, but with quest challenges like repair damaged telescopes and destroy spooky TV sets, it's reminding me, just a little bit, of the story beats in Chapter 1. Speaking of the story, a huge encrypted file was supposedly added to the game this patch, which has made many members of the community believe that an event will be upcoming at the end of the season, considering it's now just a month away. Alright, now we can move on to the cosmetics that we can expect to release this patch. We've got the Rainbow Racer, Marius, Lyra, Beast Boy, Etheria, Duh, and finally Aurelia. There's also a new next-gen skin called Ruby Shadows and a new Catwoman skin to tie in with the comics. For the backblings, we've got Agent Stones, Crystal Spirit, Couch Titan, and the Pack Bone. Next up, Harvesting Tools. There's the Drive Shaft, Slitherous Staff, Crystalline Battle Wand, Catwoman's Grappling Claw, the Fish Kebab, and BB's Beast Bat. Next up are the Gliders. There's the new Escapist Brella for the new LTM and the Flare Fair. Finally, the Wraps. We've got the Miridescent, Planetary, and Lost Riches. Okay, Fortnite fam, that's it for this update. There were some pretty big changes, and it'll be pretty interesting to see how the new POI, Mythics, and Exotic changes shift the meta going forward. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, and to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another update breakdown. I'll see you all again in two weeks' time for what I'm pretty sure will be the last update of the season.